Hey guys, I know that you're, many of you are very nervous, very anxious about this new um, next generation NCLEX that's coming out 2023. I have good news and I have bad news. Well, it might not be bad news depending on how you look at it, but let's start with the good news. The good news, guys, is that the same content and the same principles that you're expected to know for NCLEX now and that you've been expected to know for years and years and years, it has a change. That's not going to change with the new test. You're still expected to know those uh, concepts and principles, you know, the expected treatment plan, the contraindications, the medications, the adverse effects, the nursing interventions, the nursing assessment, the patient teaching, all of that. You're still expected to know. That doesn't change. What changes, guys, is the format. You used to be given two, maybe three sentences in a question. And then you're given A, B, C, D choices, right? Or one, two, three, four. Well, now you're going to get case studies, which are going to be a couple paragraphs. And you're going to be expected to pull out the most important information because it's going to be a lot of information. So you're going to be expected to figure out what's important versus what's fluff to figure out what's going on with this patient in order to answer your question. Now, the second thing in the format that's changed is instead of mostly being multiple choice, you're going to get a lot more select all that applies, putting um, nursing assessments um, or uh, nursing interventions in a particular order, drag and drops. You're going to get more figures and diagrams where you're going to be asked a question. You have to actually find what they're looking for. So you got to know your stuff um, or you may be expected to listen to a particular sound, not only know what that sound is, know what your nursing intervention is going to be for that sound. So it's more complex and more detailed where you really have to know your stuff. Um, and Clex, you were never able to BS it. Never. However, um, with the NCLEX that we have now, there's certain testing strategies that I teach you how to pass that even if you don't know the answer, you could still get away with, with this new generation of questions is just a little bit harder. A lot of those tips I give, you can still use it, but you've got to fine tooth your skills to at least narrow it down to two of them to take your chance if you don't know the answer.